priority message to all active duty agents. Be aware that Agent Aaron Keener, call sign Vanguard, has had his agent status revoked and is now a priority target. Hi guys, it's Queenie here and today I am going to show you my striker build that I use for dark colors. I run this build every time I run dark hours. Let's go over the build. As normal, I use a famous, but you can use whatever AR you fancy. I have 15% assault da rifle damage, I have 21 health damage, and I have 10% damage to attack out recover. I have the Talon Optimus. Uh, weapon damage is increased by 3% every time 10% ammo missing from the magazine. I also use the lefty to get my stocks before switching over to the famous. Um, I have 15% shot, shotgun damage, 12% damage to armor, and 9.5 health damage? Question mark? Uh, the talent is perfect sledgehammer, dealing damage with a uh, grenade applies a mark on the target targets with the mark will take 40% more damage to armor and have a reduced movement speed by 30% mark will disappear after 30 seconds I use the coyote's mask it's got 15% weapon damage it's got crit chance on it it's got crit damage on it and it's got 11.9 crit damage mod the talent for the mask is pack instincts you and all allies gain a bonus base on the distance of the last enemy you hit not to 15 meters plus 25% crit hit damage 15 to 25 meters plus 10% crit hit damage and 10% crit hit chance 25 meters plus you get an extra 25% crit hit chance uh, I use a striker's chest piece. I use a striker's holster, striker knee parts, and striker backpack. And now I'm wondering why I don't have a crit hit damage mod on my chest piece. Let's fix that. Let's just stick that on. I, I, for the first striker piece, I used the chest piece. Uh, two pieces of strikers gives us plus 15% weapon handling. Three pieces gives us plus 15% rate of fire. Four pieces gives us strength strikers gamble. Weapon hits increase total weapon damage by 0.65%, stacking up to 100 times. One stack loss per second between 0 and 50 stacks. Two stacks loss per second between 50 and 100 stacks. Um, I have 15% weapon damage, I've rolled quit, uh, crit damage onto it and I've got 11.9 crit damage mod. The talent is 
press the advantage increases max stacks for strikers gamble from 100 to 200 three stacks per second between 100 and 200 stacks uh, I use the strikers holster I've got crit damage crit chance rolled onto that the striker knee pads I've got crit damage rolled onto them a backpack I have crit damage and a crit damage mod on there the backpack talent is increases total Tyler, weapon damage gained per stack of strikers gamble from 0.65 to 1% I also use Seska gloves with the Seska I get an extra 10% crit chance and I've got 13.6 weapon damage on them and I've got 6% crit chance and 12% crit damage rolled onto them I run with a turret and I use a Reviver Hive specialization I rather go for crossbow or demo depending on what role I'm doing we're doing the twippets and we're doing the accommodation run which is where we'll kill Weasel first and then kill Dizzy I will do buttons will kill him If you ready? Me and Killem always have this running Hello, joke. Ready? And he reminds me we do press the button twice. Can't be knows I will forget. It is back. Constantly press. Constantly reminding me. Acceptable. Boy, raise him back. I'm going to check on Dawson and Carter. I tend to run back to this block here after doing buttons will kill him. And I will try and sledge Weasel. Though so it's difficult at this an angle. Weasel first. Overcharged. Yeah. Go on sledge. Dizzy. Easy peasy. Ooh, wow. Damn. And there we go. That's it done. 